All right, for this demonstration, I'm going to show you the fairly cliched technique of taking an image and converting it to black and white and then leaving a single element of the photo in color. There are several different ways to do this. Uh, one of the simplest ways is just to go into Image, Adjustments, and Desaturate. Or there's also another way if you uh, I'm gonna undo Desaturate. You can also go into Image, Adjustments, and Gradient Map. I'm going to click on Reverse. Uh, that also creates uh, black and white images. Usually these are a little bit more intense if you do them that way. But once you've converted it to a black and white, and by the way, you don't actually want to go into Image, Mode, and Grayscale because that removes all possibility of color from the image too. It still needs to be an RGB. But once I've done that, I'm going to take the History Brush tool and just paint the image where I want it to be in color. Like that. And that just restores the state of the image back to the color image. I'm going to undo that and step back again to the color image. Uh, another way is to actually duplicate the layer and then just convert the duplicate that's on top into black and white. So either uh, gradient map or desaturate, either one and then you can make a selection with whichever selection tools you prefer. I've already made one and it's in an alpha channel here. And then you can just hit delete and that will essentially just delete a hole in the black and white photo so you can see the color photo underneath. Or one more way, which is similar, if you don't like using the selection tools, once you have the duplicate that's turned black and white, you can just go in with the eraser tool and just erase where you want it to be color. It's pretty much doing the same thing, it's just knocking a hole out of the top image. Alright, so that's pretty much it, but I guess as long as we have this image open, uh, let's go ahead and do a few more cliche things to it. I'll go ahead and add a vignette to it. I'm going to create a new layer so I don't destroy the actual image. And I will feather that by maybe, let's try, 55 pixels. And then I will do a select inverse, just fill that with white, like that. And then I guess as long as we're doing that, I'll take this picture, drop it in here, like so. I'm going to try to pack all the cliches into one image here. So I'm going to set that to maybe a different blend mode, like screen. And then just to delete away the hard edges, I'll just use a really big eraser. I'll fade those away. Put that right there. And then I guess just to top it off, we will take the text tool and I don't know, type my wedding day. And of course, put that into that Fino. like that.